All right, second graders, welcome back to SIPS. This is lesson number four in SIPS challenge of second grade. All right, before we get started, my friends, let's go ahead and review our spelling sounds. And I want you to think carefully about the sound. Uh, and this blank here tells me that it's going to be followed by a consonant, not a vowel, a consonant. The sound is uh. Ah. Uh, this blank here tells me it's also going to be followed by a consonant. Eh. This blank here also tells me that it's going to be followed by a consonant. Eh. This blank here tells me it's also going to be followed by a consonant. Ah. Blank here tells me it's going to be followed by a consonant. This is tricky. E. This long blank line here in the front is going to make this Y the sound of E, such as happy or baby. And this long line here also tells me that's going to be a polysyllabic word, meaning our words are going to be are going to have more than one syllable. And then lastly, my sound. I, I, such as by and why. Great job, my friends. Now let's go ahead and go straight into our read mixed list and syllable types. All right. Something that's super important, my friends, to think about is I want you to think about one, how many sil how many vowels you see, and two, where they are placed. So the first thing is I want you to think about how many vowels you see. And then two, I want you to think about where it is placed. If it is at the end, it will be a long vowel sound. If it is not at the end, it will be a short vowel sound. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. How many vowels? One. Is it, in the end? Is it at the end? No, it's not, it's in the middle. So then is it short or long? Short, great job. Ready, think, read, mug. Great job, let's go ahead and try that with the next word. Short or long? Short, great job, let's go ahead and re think, read, sag. Short or long? Short, think, read, peg short or long think read bog short or long think read fig short or long long great job and i want you to think about the placement it's at the end ready think Read sky. Great job. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try some easy syllables. So these are nonsense words, my friends. So they're kind of silly and goofy and just a goose because they're not real words, but they are real syllables and you might see them in some words in the future. Ready? And I want you to, again, one, think about how many vowels there are and two, think about where they are. If they are at the end, like our word sky, they will be a long sound, a long vowel sound. But if they're in the middle or somewhere else that's not the end, it will be a short vowel. Ready? Short or long? Short. Think, read, mav. Short or long? Short. Think, read, meb. Short or long? Short. Think, Read mib. Short or long? Short. Think, read, mob. Short or long? Short. Think, read, mub. All right, so that was the easy stuff, my friends. Now we're going to do some of the harder stuff. 
on the left hand side you will see our words ready and i want you to, again one think about how many vowels you see and then two think about where they are placed remember if they are at the end it will be a long vowel sound and if they're not at the end it will usually be a short vowel sound ready short or long short great job ready think read bent short or long short great job think read band short or long short think read brim short or long short think read spun short or long short think read flop short or long long great job think read pry all right my friends these are harder syllables and these are again not real words these are nonsense words but they are to help us short or long short great job think read snip short or long short think read smod short or long short think read spad short or long short great think read rusp short or long short think read gled great job my friends we are going to now move on to our consonant and vowel review so let's see if you guys can remember what we learned in first grade getting ready great so here we have our vowels and remember my friends my vowels are always going to be a e i o u and that is their name ready a e i o u and that's going to be vowel 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 great job now let's go ahead and see the rest of the letters and i'm going to see if you guys remember them okay because i mixed them up a bit ready vowel consonant vowel consonant vowel consonant vowel consonant consonant vowel consonant vowel great job my friends you guys did wonderful let's go ahead and keep moving because we are superstars here all right we are now going to do some syllable lists in order to practice our general rule that we've learned about placement of the vowels all right my friends so it's super important for you to think about where you see this vowel remember one vowel at the end is long and then one vowel not at the end is short so let's go ahead and i'll give you an example okay is this vowel at the end or is it not at the end it is at the end so therefore it's going to be long and we know that our long a sound is a so then our whole bit here our whole syllable here is going to be day great now let's go ahead and try the other one is my vowel here at the end or is it not at the end it's not at the end so then my vowel is going to be what it's going to be short great job my friends so then this syllable right here should read add great job now let's go ahead and read this word right here or this syllable too where is my vowel is it at the end no it's not it's not at the end so my vowel here is going to be short my word is dad and I'm going to read it as dad. Great, now let's go ahead and keep going. So now this time I'm going to cover it 
because I want you to get used to this, okay? Remember, pay close attention to the placement of the vowel. So if it's not at the end, then it's going to be short. And if it's at the end, it will be long. So we said day, so this should be D, die, do, do. Great job. Now let's keep going. And we said that this was add because the vowel was not at the end, it was somewhere else. So let's try that. Add, ed, id, odd, ud. Now let's go ahead and finish the last column, my friends. Remember, think about the placement of the vowels. Alrighty. If that's dad, dead, uh-oh. Did, dod, dud. Great job, my friends. We did so good on our syllable list. All right, let's go ahead and practice our syllabic transformations. All right, my friends, go ahead and take a look at the vowel. Where is it placed? If it's placed at the end, remember, it will be a long vowel sound. So this will read co. Now watch me. I'm going to add a letter and then I want you to reread it and think about that letter that has just been added and how it affects the vowel sound. Great, we originally had co, but now that we've added a B, which is a consonant, my word should read as what? Cop, great job. What happened to our vowel sound here? Yeah, that's correct. It went from a long O into a short O when we added the consonant. Great job, my friends. Let's go ahead and try another one. But before we do that, I'm going to erase the K. Now I want you to think about how the sound is affected. It's not, great job, because our vowel is not at the end. So my word here reads ob because I don't have the K anymore. So this is going to be ob. All right, now let's try another one. All right, think about the placement of the vowel. Is it at the end or is it not at the end? Great, it's not at the end, so it should be ol. Now watch me as I add a letter. My word reads goal. Did anything happen to our vowel sound? No, it did not because it did not move to, it did not become the last letter in the word. Great job. So our short vowel stayed a short vowel. Now I'm going to remove the L and I want you to think about what this reads now, given its new place. My vowel is at the end. So if my vowel is at the end, it's going to be, is it going to be short or long? It's going to be long, great job. So the word should read goo. Great job. Let's go ahead and try a few more because I wanna know that you guys can handle it. Although I definitely know you guys can handle it. Okay, think about the placement of the vowel. Is it at the end or is it not at the end? Great job, my friends. It is not at the end, so then if it's not at the end, it's going to be a short vowel. Great job. So let's go ahead and read saf. Now I'm going to manipulate it a little bit more and I'm going to erase the F and leave the S A. Think about the placement of the vowel, my friend. Is it at the end or is it not at the end? Great job, it is at the end. So that tells me this is going to be a long vowel. Great job, so this should read say. Great job, let's keep going with that one. I'm going to 
go back and add my F here. Think about the placement of our vowel here. Is it going to be short or long given the placement? Great job, my friends. It's going to be short because it's not at the end. So then this should read as af. Great job. Let's go on to the next word. Almost done, my friends. We only have two more sound manipulations. Go ahead and think about where the vowel is placed. Is it at the end or is it not at the end? It's at the end. So then our vowel sound should be long. Great job. So this should read nigh. Great job. Now I'm going to manipulate it a little bit more by adding a letter. Is my vowel going to be short or long? Great job, it's going to be short because it's not at the end. My word reads nib. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and erase a letter. All right, my friends. Now I want you to think about the placement of the vowel. Is it going to be is our vowel going to be short or long? Great job. It's going to be short because it's not at the end. It's going to read ib. How does this compare to nib? The only difference is that we have the, we have the n sound, but the vowel stays the same. It looks like if it's not at the end. The vowel sound stays the same if it's not at the end. All right, now let's finish up with our last word. That's going to be... And think about the placement of the vowel. Short or long for vowel sound. Great job, it's going to be short. It should be an a sound. My word reads tet. Now, I'm going to go ahead and erase the first T. And what's my, sound, what's my vowel sound now? Still short and still e. Eh. My word reads et. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add back the first T and erase the second one, right? Think about the placement of the vowel. Is this vowel sound going to be long or short? Great job, it's going to be long. And why is that, my friends? Great job, because it's at the end. So this reads T. So my vowel sound is long. Alrighty, let's keep on moving. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys now to your sight syllables. Er, as in better, and as in winner. Read. Er. This syllable is irregular. Spell E R. Read. Er. Spell E R. Read. Er. Great. Read Lee. Read Lee. This this syllable is irregular. Spell L Y. Read Lee. Spell L Y. Read Lee. Great job. Let's go ahead and move into guided spelling. Our first word is robot. The robot walked stiffly. Say robot. Say robot by syllables. 
first syllable, row. Great job. When we hear a long vowel at the end, we often use one vowel letter. And let me show you. So I'm going to point to the bone here. Look at the picture of the bone. There are four spellings for the sound of O. The last spelling is just the letter O. So in robot, Ro is spelled with just R and O. So let's go ahead and write that down. Ro. Next syllable, Bot. Great job. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot here so I know that that's where my syllable breakup is. Row, R, O, bot. B, O, T, B, A, T, bot. Row, bot. Great job. Let's go ahead and try a different word or let's go with our new word. Our next word is lady. The lady came in with a smile. Say lady. Say lady by syllables. First syllable, lay. When we hear a long vowel at the end, we often use one vowel letter. So let's take a look at the cake picture here. There are four spellings for the sound of A. The last spelling is just the letter A. That's what we're going to use. So in lady, lay is spelled L-A. Let me write that down. And then, our next syllable is D, D. When we hear the sound E at the end of a word with more than one syllable, it is usually spelled with a Y. So let's look at the tree picture here and let's look at the spellings. There are four, oh no, there are five spellings for the sound of E. The fourth spelling is for the sound E at the end of a word with more than one syllable. So let's, let me repeat that. The fourth spelling here under the tree picture is for the sound E at the end of a word with more than one syllable. Does the word lady have more than one syllable? It definitely does. The first syllable is lay and the second syllable is D and that's how we know that when we hear the sound E at the end and it's more than one syllable, we have one syllable and two syllables here, we know that's going to be a Y spelling. Great job. Now let's go ahead and do our last word. Our last word is going to be motel. On his trip, he stayed in a motel. Say motel. Say motel by syllables. First syllable, mo. When we hear a long vowel at the end, we often use one vowel letter. So let's look at the sp spelling sound chart and look at the picture of the bone. There are four spellings for the sound of O. The last spelling is just the letter O. In motel, mo is spelled with M-O. So we're going to write mo, which is the first syllable. Great, next syllable. Tell. Be careful in here. In motel, the sound L is spelled with just one L. So let's write tell. Mo. T. 
a motel. One L only. And that can be kind of tricky sometimes. Great job, my friends. That is it for our sixth lesson number four. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next lesson.